Hey guys, this is Jade. Today we are going to see how to create pixel sorting effect in Photoshop. Before getting started, please do download the project file, link in the description. With the project file, it will be much easier for you to follow this tutorial. So download the project file and get ready. In case if you want the completely designed .psd file means hit the like button soon after reaching 100 likes, I'll give you the download link. Fine, let's get started. First go to the project file, open the image one inside Photoshop. Of course, you can use your image. Next, I'm going to create a duplicate copy of this image using keyboard shortcut Ctrl J. Next, go to the project file, open image 2 inside Photoshop. We are going to use this image to create the pixel sorting effect. This image got bright pink and blue colors. That's why I'm using this image. Obviously, you can use any image. It's not going to be an issue. Make sure to pick an image that got bright colors. Fine, now go to filter. Stylize, there select wind, I'm going to select option stagger and from the left option, now click OK. Now I'm going to repeat the same process, go to filter, you can click this one or you can use keyboard shortcut Ctrl Alt F. Repeat the process until the image turns unrecognizable, I repeated the process 42 times. Fine, once you're done go to select all, now go to edit, copy the image. Now close the image, now roll back to the original image, now paste the image. Now enable free transfer will control T, give a 90 degree rotation. Place it right above the sunglass lens. Now resize the image so that it touches the bottom part of the image. Fine. Next, we are going to apply layer mask. Now disable the layer. Now select the original image layer. Now we are going to make a selection right around the sunglass lens. You can use marquee tool. Here I'm going to use pen tool technique. Select the pen tool. If you are not familiar with pen tool means, just select the pen tool, make sure path is selected. Now zoom in. Now make a first click here. Now second click goes here. Now place third click on the center of the path. Now hold control key in your keyboard. Now you can turn the line path into a curve one. Fine, we are going to use this technique. I'll repeat. Now this one going to be our first click. Now make a second click here. Make a third click at center of the path. Now hold Ctrl key, make a curved path like so. Now we are going to use this very same technique and make a selection around the sunglass lens. Fine, once you have completed the selection, right click, select make selection. Make sure feather is zero, now click OK. Now we got our selection. Now roll back and select the layer we disabled previously. Select the masking layer. Enable it. Now go to select. Select the option inverse. Now go to color picker. Make sure black color is selected. Now fill the color by using keyboard shortcut Alt backspace. There you go, we applied the sorting effect to the sunglass. Next, we are going to extend the selection. As if now, hit Ctrl D to deselect. Now select the marquee tool. This one. Now make a selection which aligns with the sunglass lens. Like so. Now right click. Select transform selection. Now pull the selection so that it touches the bottom part of the image. Now click enter. Next go to color picker. Select white color. Now fill the color using keyboard shortcut alt backspace. There you go. Now we got our pixel sorting effect on right side. Next we are going to apply the very same technique on left side. All you got to do is now create a duplicate copy of this layer. Now delete the mask layer. 
Fine. Now move the image to left side. Place it right above the lens. Now we're going to repeat the very same step. Apply layer mask. Disable the layer. Roll back and select the original image layer. Now pick the pen tool. Using the very same technique we used before, I'm going to make a selection. Once your path is complete, right click, make selection, make sure feather is zero. Our selection is here. Now select the second layer, enable it. Select the masking layer. Now go to select, inverse. Now go to color picker. Make sure black color is selected. Now fill the color using keyboard shortcut Alt backspace. Now hit Ctrl T to deselect. Now pick the marquee tool. Make a selection which aligns with the sunglass lens. Now right click, transform selection. Now pull the selection so that it extends to the bottom part of the image. Now hit enter. Now go to color picker, select white color. Now fill the color using keyboard shortcut Alt backspace. There you go. We got our pixel sorting effect. Next, we're going to apply a few color effects to make the image look a little bit colorful. Let's start by creating a layer. Change the layer blending mode to color. Now go to color picker, select pink color, this one. Click OK. Now pick the brush tool, select soft round brush, this one. Now give a single click on right side. There you go. Next go to color picker, select blue color. With the same brush, give a single click on left side. Next, let's create a glow effect for that create a layer. Change the blending mode to color dodge. Now go to color picker, sample and select this some kind of dark blue color. Click OK with the same soft round brush. This one, I'm going to give some random clicks to create glow effects. Next, I'm going to pick dark pink color. This one. Now give some random clicks to create glow effect. Once you're done, merge all of a layer into a single layer by using keyboard shortcut Shift Ctrl Alt E. As a final step, we're going to apply curves adjustment effect for that create curves adjustment layer. This one. There select blue curve. Now I'm going to pull the bottom and top point a little bit up to create cinematic blue tone. Once you're done, merge all of the layers into a single layer, Ctrl Alt Shift E. There you go. Now our pixel sorting effect is ready. So that's it guys. I hope this video is useful to you. Don't forget to hit the like button for more tutorials. Subscribe to my channel and please do check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. Take care.